zoom in. Actually, I'm in the wrong symbol. I need to be inside of the... Um, and you know what? I'm in the right symbol. Okay. So I'm just going to hide that. Paste in the right leg. And that looks good. So let's just delete this for now. This file should never be saved. It should always just be re either reverted or you just close it out before you finish it. So, it, you know, that way you can just mess it up any way you want and you don't care about it. Now let's test out the motion here. So uh, up close, that doesn't look the best, but when you're zooming out at game level, which is about 50%, It looks okay. And we're okay with that. So let's. So we're happy with these positions. So let's just go in, read them off one more time, and then convert them to symbols. So the left leg, sorry, the right leg. Let's convert that to a symbol. Press. It. Let's convert this to a symbol. Right click. Convert to symbol. And it doesn't matter. You can just say okay. Um, let's convert these to symbols too. Convert this to symbol. Now, the reason we're converting these to symbols is because we need to give them instance names. The instance names uh, allow the code to um, basically go into the avatar item and pull out the individual pieces and put them on the avatar correctly. So uh, there's actually a Google Doc which I just created, and and I'll share with you that um, lists all the instance names for every item that you know that that applies to the avatar. So if you look at pants, there's three instances, uh, right leg, left leg, and, ki and pivot, with a little description. Uh, and these are pretty self-explanatory. So what we need to do here is, here's the right leg, and all you, all you have to do is go into the properties window, and instance name, and enter right leg. Same, and then left leg, enter left leg, and for the pivot, just enter pivot. And with that spreadsheet, you can see exactly which keywords you need for each item. And you actually don't need anything for the hair, eyes, nose, and mouth, because those are just single, single pieces. And you can see, as part of the, uh, the template that I had here, you can see that this one was the right leg, and this was the left leg. And actually, I don't think I even had a pivot in this one because it wasn't necessary. So let's just delete those. And now the only step left is to reposition the items. Um, actually, before I do that, let's just quickly create the thumbnail, which I showed you in a previous video. Let's just move them over, copy, open up the thumbnail template, paste, free transform, shift, and scale it, center it, file, export image, pants, ping, it's called female pants 4, I, I heard already been fooling around with this so I'm just replacing it, full document size, and okay, and there we have the thumbnail. Now we can go back in here for the positioning. So the left leg, uh, what, 
did I just do? Okay. Let's go into the left leg. You can see it's at 17.4 and 8.75. Let's go back in here and update that. Okay, let's go to the right leg. Sorry, the left leg. This is getting confusing. Let's double click on that. And we're at 11 and 20.6. And now we just need the pivot. So layer. Click on that. And this is that's strange. That's it can't be zero zero. Ah, okay, I'm not okay. Uh zero and twelve. Okay, so now those are positioned correctly. I'm just going to save this file as Female Pants 4. Uh, no, I can't actually do that. Let's just save it as. I think I already had it open in another window, so. Let's save it. Okay. I'm going to export the Swift into the Pants Swift directory. Female Pants 4. Let's go back into the interface, main control, pants, I'm just going to replace one of the other one of the older ones that doesn't actually work properly. Update, this picture actually didn't, let's see if we reload. If you don't see the images updating, then you might have to clear your cache. Okay, and there you go. See, there's the new pants that we had just uploaded. Let's go into the game. See it in action. And it looks like I'm already wearing them, so... Oh, okay. Uh, just one last step. The reason that that thumbnail didn't update. Um, just I just had an older version of the game, so I'm just gonna reload. And there you go. There's the new pants that we updated. We can watch. Watch her walking around. You can actually zoom in if you want. Uh, we did not do the back of the pants yet. But you can imagine that that's, that's done in pretty much the same way. Uh, you do need the pivot for the back of the pants as well. Uh, you do need to split it up into the left and the right legs. Um, but, you, but you keep the instance names the same. Left leg, right leg, and pivot. Uh, and you keep everything on the second frame instead of the first frame. So what this would look like, uh, if you could just imagine the back of these pants on the second frame of this FLA file. So there you have it. There's the pants. And uh, let's move on to the shirt in the next video.